dan gue. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum friends. We are in the month of Safar, which is a very very sad month. And in this month, millions and millions of people are getting ready to go to Karbala for Arba'in. Arba'in are 40 days that have passed since Imam Hussein and his family were hurt in Karbala. So people try and walk from Najaf to Karbala to visit Imam Hussein alayhi salam. It takes people about three days to walk from Najaf to Karbala. How do they rest? Where do they sleep? What do they eat? You may wonder. There are so many people on the streets on the way from Najaf to Karbala serving the Zawar. Zawar are the people who go visit Imam Hussein. So everybody is doing whatever they can to serve people who are going to visit Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Do you think you can serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam too? Let's find out. Let's read this story about something that we may have in our kitchen and that little thing is also wanting to serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Let's find out if that little thing can serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The title of this book is called I Can Serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam too. Special thanks to the author Oma Ayman for allowing us to share this book. The illustrator of this book is Khatun Sanad and the editor is Leila Mahdi. Let's begin. Salam. I'm Shiny, a cattle with a wonderful story. I was given as a gift, but was never used. I sat in my box in the back of a kitchen cupboard, dreaming of the day I would be used. But that day never came. I was hopeful. Every time the cupboard was opened, I kept praying that that was my day to shine. But the days became months, then years, and the hope of ever being used became less and less. That is, until Mahdi moved to the house across the road. Everyone loved cheerful young Mahdi. His endless stories, his broad smile and his polite way of speaking made him always welcome in this house. The Khalil family and their three children adored him and were always ready with treats and desserts for his regular visits. Mahdi was an active Husseini too, going around reading lines of poetry and beating his chest in rhythm. Do you know what this is called? It's matam that we do at mosque in the months of Muharram and Safar and on sad days. Before the month of Muharram, from my box in the cupboard, I could hear him talking enthusiastically about preparations for Majalis. He told of big halls draped in black, of hundreds of people attending, of Islamic lectures being given, of food and chai being served, all in honor of a personality by the name of Imam Hussein alayhi salam buried in a blessed land called Karbala. I knew nothing of this great personality, but through the love and respect that I felt Mahdi had, I now 
wanted to serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam too. If only there was an opportunity. Do you think Shiny the cattle would get the opportunity to serve Imam Hussein? He's in the cupboard and he's been there for so long. Let's find out. To me, as a cattle, it seemed only natural that water for chai for such gatherings should be boiled in me. A cattle that loves the Imam and wants to serve sincerely. But how? The tenth of Muharram passed and as we approached the Arba'een, there was excited talk of a majlis being held here in our house. The Khalil family were busy planning and through my box I listened to the names of invitees. Plans to seat the guests, food preparations and then the irresistible word. Chai. Do you love drinking chai? I like drinking chai. And I think the grown-ups at your house may be also drinking chai. Maybe all the time. Surely, the one kettle being used now would not be enough for all the guests. Surely, they would need another. Maybe. This would be the chance I had been waiting for. I prepared myself. First, I remembered everything I had heard and learned about Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I had the intention to be the best at what I did and to serve everyone sincerely. I checked that my electrical plug was in place and hoped it still worked. Finally, I shined myself till I was glowing. Now, I was ready, waiting for that special opportunity. Do you think Shiny the Kettle will be used? I hope so. The morning of Arba'een. Do you have another cattle we could use? I heard Mehdi's voice asking. Just one cattle is not enough. I'm here. I'm here. I was very excited. I had been waiting for so long. I think I have a spare one in the corner cupboard. Check and see answered Mr. Khalil, pointing towards my cupboard. I felt my heart beating fast. Was this really happening? The cupboard door opened. I could hear things being moved. Then, yes, my box was lifted and then opened. I was pulled out into the real world. With squinted eyes, I looked around. This had to be Mehdi dressed in black and that had to be Mr. and Mrs. Khalil and their three children. And this was the kitchen, my house for many years. This is brand new! said Mahdi as the nylon bag was removed from around me. What a shine! This is exactly what we need for the majlis of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. I looked at myself proudly. I was doing what I did best, being the right cattle for the right job. It works perfectly, said Mahdi as he emptied the boiling water. You saved the day, shining cattle, to make your first chai for guests who mourn Imam Hussein alayhi salam is an honor. What a lucky cattle! A 
As I stood in the kitchen boiling water all morning, I could see how the Khalil family and Mahdi were sincerely serving the guests. Some were distributing chai, some clearing up, some taking coats to hang, and others straightening guests' shoes in the entrance hall. No job was unworthy in the name of the beloved Imam. I was very happy to do my part too. How will you serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam this year? What are some of the things you think you can do to serve Imam Hussein? When you want to serve Imam Hussein, you can serve the lovers of Imam Hussein, be it by helping to give out Fatiha or even giving tissue paper to someone who may be crying. You know, when people are walking from Najaf to Karbala, there are little children on the streets holding a box of tissue so that the Zawar of Imam Hussein can use that tissue to maybe wipe sweat from their foreheads or maybe if they have a cold to just sneeze into that tissue. Whatever little thing they can do to serve Imam Hussein's Zawar. When you serve the Zawar of Imam Hussein, when you serve the lovers of Imam Hussein, when you help them or do any tiny little thing, it is as if you're serving Imam Hussein and Allah is watching every tiny little thing you do. So, what are you going to do to serve Imam Hussein this Arba'een? Please give us in your du'as and I hope you enjoy this story. Until next time, Qadar Hafiz.